Hello friends, welcome to SQL PL SQL questions for online exams and certification. So here is another question. So the question is based on a product information table, which contains two column, a product name and a product status. And this table contains some list of products and the status of the product. Let me show you the query. So we have a table called product underscore information, which contains a list of product and the status of the product. Few of the product are in active and few of the product are in absolute state. We want to filter the list of absolute products, something like this. And then all these absolute product, we just want to print something like product name. It's not available for order. So you can see clearly here, there is a single quote here. Now, if we try to execute this statement, we'll get an error call quoted string not properly terminated. So the question here, when we get this error, what would you do to execute the query successfully? Option one, use quote operator. Option two, enclose the literal in double quote. Option three, do not enclose the string in single quote. Option four, use escape character. Let's see how to resolve this problem. Probably you can pause this video and think what would be the right answer for this. Now let's see what would be the right answer. Obviously in Oracle, whenever we are trying to print, we have to enclose in the single quote. Okay, so obviously then this is not the right answer. The next one is they're saying that you can enclose in double quote. Let's let's try to enclose in double quotes and see what is the answer here. If you try to enclose in double quote, Oracle will not treat this as a string. Instead, it will treat it as an identifier like a table or a column name. So it will say that this specific identifier is an invalid identifier. So double quote has a completely different meaning. So whenever we want to print a string literal, we have to enclose within a single quote. And we don't have any specific escape character also, but there is one workaround instead of one single quote, something like this, if we put another single quote, it will get executed. However, this was not present in the option. So the last option left is this, use quote operator. Let's see how to use the quote operator. So basically what we need to do whenever we have a string which contains special characters like multiple single quote or any other character and if we want to print the string as it is then we can use this quote operator the format is we need to put q followed by a single quote followed by any one special character so let me put a square bracket here and we need to end that string with the same special character followed by a single quote so this is the quote operator so i'm sure now you'd have got the right answer so the right answer is to use the quote operator. If you want to know how to use the quote operator and what are all the restrictions, you can watch this video. The link of this video is given in the description. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video.